I don't know if any of you have done acting school, but it can be very, very serious. So that's, so there are some people out there who are so serious in acting that when they're acting, they completely lose all sense of reality, and they just get so much into the character. Um, we're, uh, there was this improv I was watching, and this young boy, about 14 years old, and uh, this big, giant, stereotypical black woman, just very tough, southern accent, you know, and they were doing a scene together, and the young boy was supposed to play the, the, the rebellious adolescent, and the, the, the big woman was supposed to play the mother, so it was perfectly stereotyped cast and, and everything. And they both got so much into the scene that the boy called her, well, no, called her something worse, called her a whore. <laughs> and the woman just, boom, knocked him right on his butt. And the kid fell to the ground, and everyone in the audience went, oh, and rushed up to the stage, and the kid was crying. And both actors said, we just got so much into it, we got overwhelmed, and it just turned into reality for us, you know? And lucky for that woman, no one called the cops, you know? And at the end of it, they were both crying, you know? But that's how, that's how you know, deep people can get into it, and actors are, are very emotional people. Was it in scenario, this whole world? Hmm? Was, what, was it in scenario, this whole world? It, it wasn't, it was improv. It was improv, so it wasn't a script at all. Yeah, so so you could imagine that. So she wasn't even expecting it, right? So yeah, I, I, I did some acting, but... Mm, you know, I don't know. If I would have stuck with it, maybe things could have been different. But you know, I have to tell you, you'll meet also a lot of people sleeping on the streets who wanted to be actors too. You know, and there's a big drug problem in, in Los Angeles as well. I don't know how it is in Moscow. Um, I think there's a sense of it because at night I'll, I'll leave the metro and I see like six guys crowded around each other in a circle and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe they're doing something new. You know, who knows. But <laughs> in LA it's very, it's very open. You know, it's not, it's not uh, difficult to find a guy standing on a street corner and on the other side is a cop and the, and the guy's just selling his dope openly. Yeah. Cops, you know, it's just, guy making his money. I mean, if they see the product, you know, they'll arrest him. But, you know, they usually don't, especially in L.A. It's, like I said before, it's, it's a very tough place. And in L.A. and New York, they're very competitive on who's the toughest. But, you know, I'll tell you, uh, Californians and, and New Yorkers eh, really don't like each other. I think you could attest to that a little bit. There's a little bit of this east-west competition thing. And if anyone mentions New York to me, They'll get the same response out of me as if they say something about the French. I go, ugh, ugh, New Yorkers, ugh. You know what I mean? I just can't stand them. And then they'll say, well, what don't you like about New Yorkers? Their accent. It's just, are you kidding me? It sounds so, yeah, they don't sound intelligent whatsoever. It's just, ugh, forget it. You know what I mean? It's just like um, French to me. It's like, oh, they sound so snobby, so stuck up. You know what I mean? But. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. But I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. So, no. so <laughs> questions? I would, what, okay, go ahead. Okay, I would like to know, what I would like to know is, go ahead, yeah. Uh, I would like to ask you about movies uh, and writing scripts to movies, um, uh, the introduction of new technology, the, the technology mm -hmm. in the last, um, I don't think the 3D uh, will affect writing, because um, you're just you're just telling a story and then they'll just add the effects later. Um, in the 50s, 3D was popular. Um, a lot of 3D movies, um, especially in American history when television first came out. When television first came out, people stopped going to the movies. Because the thinking was, well, why go see a movie? I got a TV at home. 
fine. You couldn't you couldn't watch a creature from the Black Lagoon in 3D on TV, but you can see it in the movie theater. So the movie theaters and the and the movie industry had to think of ways to bring people into the theaters. So that's how 3D actually came about in the 50s was to get people into the theaters, and um, and also they would do other things like uh, horror movies. There was a, a famous horror movie with um, uh, what's his name. No, not for me. Vincent Price was the actor, and there was a movie called The Tingler, and it's about people who would die from shocking laughter, right? So the movies in the movie theater in the cinemas, on the you know where you rest your arms, or where you're sitting, you're behind, they'll have like little shock buttons, and you don't know it. You're just sitting there watching the movie. All of a sudden, you feel like a shock. Ah. And then, and then people in the theater go, "Oh, it's the Tingler! He's got this guy in the audience." So it started, you know. So the the film that the, it became interactive, the movies, you know. And I think that's what's going on now is uh, this whole Avatar movie that just came out in 3D. You know, that's how Hollywood is. You see one.